Hello everyone. Today we are going to play some exciting game on LinkedIn. It goes by the name Quints and it is about filling crowns in a 9 cross 9 square grid. So you are having multiple colors, nine colors in total and the rules goes like this. In each column you have to fill up exactly one crown and in each row you have to fill up exactly one crown. And in each color region, you should fill in exactly one crown. And no two crowns should be in neighboring squares. So what do I mean by the word neighboring here? It means they are not sharing a common edge, nor a common vertex point. So it should be completely separated. So let's solve one Quinn's game today and I hope you will find, find it interesting. So here is the front page of the game. If you click on the start game button, you will be redirected to the actual game page. So as you could see, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 colors, 9 rows and 9 columns. So two crowns cannot be placed in neighboring squares, which will be uh, shown by the algorithm as a misplace. And in the same row is also not allowed. And in the same column will also be not allowed. So all these will uh, be indicated by the algorithm as something wrong. And of course, in the same region, let's say you have placed the crown here and here, it will show you an error due to the fact that exactly one crown should be placed on each region. Now, there is a facility to make a square abandoned or devoid of any crown by single click. This shows you a cross mark indicating that no crown can be filled in, as it will not abide by the rules. So we will also be using this. First, notice that in the first three rows, we have the colors orange, blue and red completely contained. And we know for the fact that each region of these three should contain one crown necessarily. So thus, each of these colors should be contributing for each of those three rows, the first three rows. And hence, those two first unit squares of the white color should be abandoned, so we mark it with cross mark. And notice that the only cell of the three colors, orange, blue and red, which is present in the third row is blue and it's a single cell. So hence, the crown that belong to the third row should be from blue region. So let's fill it. Now after filling up the crown, we have to mark the blue region with cross as uh, the blue region is completely filled and we have to mark with cross all over through its column and its row in order to get this. Now, after doing this, we should also come to the neighboring squares of the crown and mark it with cross. All right, so clearly in the white region, except one cell, all other cells are abandoned. So the crown that belong to that white region should be placed in that one, one remaining square. So let's place the crown there. So that will entail more squares in the corresponding column and row to be abandoned. And let's indicate it using the cross marks and also the adjacent squares. Now coming to the green region, we can see only one unit square remaining and we have to place the crown over there for assigning it a crown. So now we are done with green region. 
so let's mark all the corresponding cells in the column and row with cross and of course the adjacent squares all right now let's come to the uh preceding argument which was the crowns in the first three column should belong to either orange or blue or red now the blue region corresponds to the third row by we have uh, indicated that by placing a crown there now for the second row we can only do it with the crown in orange region because all squares in the second row of these three regions are abandoned so hence let's place the crown on that particular remaining cell which will entail all the row and its corresponding column to be abandoned and the region orange is now completed so moving on to the gray region you can clearly see that there is only one cell remaining so let's fill it up with the crown so that will make corresponding row and column to be abandoned and even in the purple region there is only one cell remaining filling it up we will get the abandoned squares and now in the yellow region we have only one crown possibility so we will indicate the other squares in the corresponding row and column as abandoned now uh okay even this one in the red region we have only one remaining square so that will be a crown making this cross and cross so we have only one pending unit square in the bigger violet squares and let's place a queen here and this game is done so this is how you are uh using the ideas of the combinatorial thinking in solving the quince puzzle so this is not the only way but i would give you a strategy maybe you can figure out yourself but this is like a uh, revealing or disclosing a strategy to take a closer look into smaller color regions and confining it to as minimum number of rows or columns possible and making the number of rows or columns equal to the number of regions will entail the regions to contribute a, a crown for each of those rows or columns so think about it and suggest your own ideas in the comments we will meet again with more interesting games thank you everyone bye